Good afternoon everyone, Ip Malik and my new video are with you again. You have a Microsoft account and you forgot your sign-in PIN, you are trying to remember it, but nothing comes out. You've tried resetting your PIN, but you don't know your Microsoft account password, and you no longer know any way to access your computer without losing your personal information. Today I will show you how to create a local account in Windows 11, Windows 10 or Windows 8, log into your Windows with this account and use it to access all your files. Do not worry, look carefully, repeat exactly after me, step by step, and we will succeed. And so, in order to create a local account, we need to open a command prompt, and first I will show you three methods to open the command prompt. Method number one. On your keyboard, press and hold the shift key, and then click here, and restart your computer. The automatic system restore program opens. Click Troubleshoot. Then Advanced Options. Now click Command Prompt. This was the first way to open a command prompt. Depending on your operating system configuration, the program may ask you for your password before opening a command prompt. In this case, I suggest opening the command prompt in another way. For those who have found the first method to work, you can skip the second and third methods, and go straight to making changes to the registry editor. Method number two. If your system asks for a password to open a command prompt, you need to connect a Windows 7, 8, Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation USB flash drive to your computer, or you can also use a Windows installation DVD. Usually, using such a bootable USB flash drive or DVD disk, Windows is installed on the computer. Whether your version of Windows is Home or Pro, any edition of Windows will work to reset your password. Connect this USB flash drive or Windows DVD to your computer and restart your computer. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press, enter. The Windows install menu opens, but we won't install anything, we'll just press shift and F10, at the same time. And the command line immediately opened. Depending on the operating system configuration, sometimes shift plus F10 does not open a command prompt, then you can use another method. Method number 3 The first few steps of the fourth method are exactly the same as method number 3. We boot the computer from the Windows installation USB flash drive or Windows DVD, and wait for the Windows installation menu to open. But we will not install Windows here either. Click, Next. In the menu we will click, Repair your computer. The automatic system recovery program has opened. Click, Troubleshoot. Now press, Command Prompt. Now write in the command prompt, re-get it, and press, enter. The registry editor opens. Here you need to click once, key local machine. Click, file. And click, load hive. Here we need to find the drive where the Windows operating system is installed. On my computer, this drive is marked with the letter C, on your computer or laptop, the drive with Windows installed may be marked with a completely different letter, it may be the letter D or another letter. We also see here a bootable USB flash drive, with which we open the command prompt, and another small Windows partition, or rather its small directory for system files. My computer does not have a separate disk or partition for storing data, and therefore I have the largest disk here, this is the disk with the Windows operating system and I open it. In this window, open the Windows folder. Next, locate and open the folder, System32. In this window, open the folder, Config. Here find the file, System, and double-click on it. 
In this window, you need to specify a name for the created folder. I will name this folder, 1, 2, 3, 4. You can name this folder by any other name, the name of this folder has no meaning for the process. Press, OK. Open the folder, key local machine. So, we have created a folder, 1, 2, 3, 4, and now we open it. Locate the folder, set up, and click on it. Now find the file on the right, CMD line, and double click on it. In the window that opens, write, CMD EXE. And click, OK. Now find the file, set up to pay, and double click on it. In this window, instead of zero, enter the number two. Click, OK. Then find the folder, one, two, three, four, and click on it once. Then click, file, and click, unload hive. Click, yes, and close this folder. Close command prompt, and click, continue loading windows. If you use the second method, close command prompt, close the installation menu, click, yes, the computer will automatically restart. The operating system has started loading. The command prompt was opened. First, we will check what accounts are on our computer, and for this we will do the following. Here we will write, net, click, space bar, user. Click, enter. On my computer, we can only see one default account because I didn't create any other accounts, but you may have another account here. My account name looks different here, because the system shows my Microsoft account name in such an abbreviated form. Actually, my Microsoft account name is in the form of an email address, and this name looks like this. And so, to create a new local account, we will write, net, click, space bar, user, space bar, you write your name here, and I will write my name, Malik, space bar, now you need to enter a password for the new account, I'll write, 12345, space bar, slash, add, press, enter. The command completed successfully. Now you need to give the new account administrator rights. To do this, you need to write, net, space bar, locale group, space bar, administrators, Space bar, you write your name here, and I will write my name, Malik. Space bar, slash, add. Press, enter. The command completed successfully. I hope everything went well for you too. Now, to exit the command prompt, write, exit. Press, enter. The computer opened on the lock screen and here we see the details of my Microsoft account, IP Malik, for which I forgot the PIN and password. At the bottom left, we see the icon of this account, and the icon of a new, local account, her name, Malik. To log in, click here, and I enter the login password. Click here. Now the system will create a new local account within one minute. I agree to the privacy terms, accept, and the Windows desktop loaded right away. And so, the most important thing we did, we unlocked our computer and finally we got access to all our documents, photos, videos and all other data. Now we need to decide how to continue using our computer, and to begin with, I will make a small overview of the capabilities of the new account. I open settings, 
And here we can see that my Windows account is running a local account, and its name is Molly. In the account section, we can see that my account has administrator status. Now my desktop is completely empty and there are no application icons on it, as if I had just installed a new Windows 10, but in fact, all the programs, applications and games that were installed in Windows under the control of a Microsoft account, they all remained in place and I can use them as well. To do this, click the Start button. Select an application, and drag the icon to the desktop. Now you can launch all programs from the desktop or taskbar just like you did before. And so, after you have created a new local account and gained access to all your data, you have two options for using the computer. You can continue to use the new account, and to do this, restore the icons of all programs and games on the desktop, and transfer all your photos, photos, videos and other files to a new desktop or to another place more convenient for you. To do this, you can do the following. Open Explorer then this computer. Here we see that in addition to drive C, I have a disk for storing data, and we also see a Windows USB flash drive, with its help I opened a command prompt. Now open the C drive, the users folder. Here we see a Microsoft account data folder, and a new local account data folder. I will open this account. Now we see all the folders with the data of this account. I open the desktop, and here we see all the folders with my files. They are not lost and everything has remained unchanged. In the same way, on your computer you will find all your personal files completely safe and completely unchanged. The second option is a little more complicated, but more convenient in the future use of the computer. In order not to keep a locked account on your computer, you can install a new Windows 10 or Windows 11 with a complete removal of all data on Drive C. As a result, you will again receive a new Microsoft account and a new password, before that, you can transfer all the necessary files to another disk in the same way as I do now. I open Explorer, this computer, drag the shortcut from my data drive to the desktop, and open this drive. Then I open the C drive, open the Users folder, then the Microsoft Account Data folder. And here I just drag the necessary files onto the data drive. If your computer does not have another disk to store files, you can transfer the necessary files to a USB flash drive. In the process of installing a new Windows, you need to click, I do not have a product key, and as a result, Windows activation will occur automatically. To save the license, you need to install a new Windows of the same edition that was before. If you had Windows Home, then install Windows Home. If you had Windows Pro, install Windows Pro. This concludes my video review, and I hope what I just said could help you, and if you found it useful, please share my video with someone. Write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck.